Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hello, Calvary. This is Pastor Rick with your word for the day. Let me ask you a question. Do you have a friend, maybe a son or daughter, some relative, and the only time you hear from them is when they want something? I've had that happen to me. Uh, A friend or neighbor call me and want to borrow something or want something, but other than that, there's no real relationship. How does that feel? How do you think Jesus feels when we come to him daily in prayer with our needs, but then other than that, we have no real relationship with him? Well, this scripture we're going to look at today in Matthew chapter 11 tells us exactly how Jesus feels uh, when that happened. Jesus, in in chapter 11 of Matthew, he was going through all the cities of Galilee and and people were getting healed, healed of leprosy, uh, blind eyes were opening, uh, even people were being raised from the dead. Many great miracles were being done, but the people didn't turn their lives to him. And he says this in in chapter 11 and verse 20. He says, Then he began to denounce the cities where most of his mighty works had been done because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazon. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, It will be more bearable on the day of judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will be brought down to Hades. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you that it will be more tolerable on the day of judgment for the land of Sodom than for you. Wow, that's a bold statement. The land of Sodom was destroyed for its wickedness. But Jesus is saying it's going to be more tolerable for Sodom than for us, those who are unrepentant. Think about that for a moment. Why is Jesus so upset with these cities? Well, the reason is because those were near the Sea of Galilee. Those are Jewish cities. Those are people who know God. And they were were very happy to accept all of the great miracles and the healings that were taking place. But then they still rejected Jesus. They liked what he was doing, but didn't want him. You see, they would have to say, okay, this is the Son of God. This is the Messiah to accept him. But they decided not to turn their hearts to him. So when God's people know him, then that's rejection. He would expect that from Tyre and Sidon. Why? Because those are godless people. Those are pagan uh, cities that don't know God. So he would expect unbelief from them. But even those, when they saw the power of Jesus, like the lady, uh, the good Samaritan, the, the, the Samaritan woman, or even the centurion man, they saw the power of God in Jesus and said, whoa, this must be the Son of God. And therefore, they followed him. They repented of their sins and followed Jesus. So today, let me ask you, are you enjoying the blessings of God? Are you answering the prayers but, or, or having your prayers answered, but really having no relationship with him? That's not what Jesus wants. Jesus wants a relationship with you. So I want to encourage you, accept all God has for you today, but have a relationship with him because that's what Jesus wants. I was talking to a man in my life group, and I was asking him about his kids, how they're doing. He said, oh, my oldest son, great. I talk to him on the phone every day. We have a great relationship. We're very close. But my younger son, I never hear from him unless he wants something. I never want to be that guy in my relationship with Jesus. I want to have a full relationship with the Lord. I am very excited when he answers my prayer and I see his blessings in my life. But he wants me to love him back. That's what 1 John 4, 19 says. I love because Jesus first loved me. And I want to encourage you today to just think of all the blessings and everything Jesus has done in your life. And then just love him back today. Let him know this morning how much you appreciate him, love him, honor him, and thank him for his goodness in your life. And have a great relationship with Jesus today. God bless you.